this used to be me, a person too afraid of many things, a shy person. When alone, I was quite normal, enjoying life to its fullest. But if you told me I had to be social, oh my, my throat would get dry, my heart would race like a NASCAR car, and my hands would get really sweaty. I wasn't shy from the beginning. Actually, when I was a kid, I was quite open and... Um... But along the way, something happened. I cannot recall what exactly happened, and some people might think, oh, a, a traumatic event happened. It didn't. But one day, I woke up and I was shy. And I didn't like it a single bit. So, my battle against shyness started. But before we continue, if you want to help this poor ghost of the past, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean the world to him. When I was shy, a few obvious things would happen. First one, I was shy into social situations. The second one, I was... Uh, I'm, I'm telling you specific points of my shyness. The second one, I was... Um, shy to eat in front of people. I recently read a, a post on Reddit, a guy just posted there, that uh, for the first time in his life he managed to go to a restaurant by himself and eat alone. And when I read this post, I remember I was the same. I was shy to go to a restaurant, uh, especially if it was a restaurant I didn't know. because. Uh, was like free, you pay once and you can eat free, or you have to wait your food. The easy solution is to ask, right? Go to a restaurant, you will ask a staff how this restaurant works. But I was shy to ask, and I was kind of shy to try to discover by myself. Another thing really important to mention is girls. When I was shy, um, I couldn't talk to girls if I didn't know them. And it was weird, to say the least, because um, I was a teenager. And there's this thing in the man's world that you need to show yourself invincible. So you you're put your chest in front, you raise your head, and you act as if you are invincible. None of my friends had a single idea of what they were doing. I didn't have to, but there, there was this, this big lie. Everyone would pretend they knew what they were doing, and everyone else would pretend they believed in this lie. The thing is, no one had a single clue, and everyone was learning. It's normal, right? We don't, we don't get born and uh, knowing things. We have to learn them. Anyways. Uh, I had this problem to mention a few. One interesting thing about me is that now I am a professional actor. Yeah, my, my work is acting. Which, uh, you cannot be shy. If, you, if it's like a, a trait of your personality, you can be introverted, but shy you kind of cannot. Those things are different. Anyways, so when I realized I was shy, I had no clue at all of what things I could do to fix the problem. Internet wasn't quite available, so yeah, I had to figure it out things by myself. And the world, and especially society, in a way, forced me to, to improve. So, for example, school, uh, I have memories of um, doing a presentation. So, for example, you research a subject, then you go in front of all the class, and you show your data. Those moments were the worst. Um, one thing that really bothered me is when I was really shy in this situation, my mouth would get really dry, and it would do this 
this kind of weird noise because it was really dry. And I recall looking to my friends, friends, they were cheering for me, for my, for my success. And they would be so embarrassed because I was so embarrassed. So they would mirror me. It was the worst. So I had this, this situations and um, my shyness didn't improve quite a bit. I would say I was just passing by, you know, struggling into these situations, but not making any tangible progress. Until one day. One day, uh, something happened and uh, it changed everything. It, and it made this, this chain reaction that, to be quite honest, it's with me right now. I, I will do a spoiler here, but I managed to conquer my, my shyness. Let me show you what happened. When I was a teenager, my mother used to go to this candy store and she used to buy me this candy. Except it was bigger. It was a, a big box, more or less of this size, half a kilogram, I believe. And I would eat it all. And we continued to this. My mother would buy the candy, and I would eat it, and so on and so on. Until one day, she brought me a box. I looked to it and uh, I said, no, I'm not gonna eat it. And she said, what? I just bought it for you, come on. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna test my force of will. I love this candy, but I will not eat it just to test myself. And uh, this thing started with candies, but soon it went into other aspects of my life including my shyness. I started to test my force of will with uh, different situations, different and challenging social situations. So for example, I would see a girl waiting something and I would think in my mind, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask what time it is. That's it. Uh, my goal was not to ask anything else, to start a conversation or anything, it was just ask the hour, say thank you, and walk away. I did this quite a few times and uh, to, you know, put me into a uncomfortable situation, a situation that at the time was challenging, and uh, to somehow win this fight against my shyness. And it did well. Uh, I noticed some some significant and uh, tangible improvements. But I wasn't there yet. If I looked into myself in the mirror, I would still say I am shy. And I didn't like it. So it came the second big step into my life that eventually put uh, my shyness to the ground. And it was when I started law school. As I started law school, everything was fine. I was enjoying myself, I was enjoying the classes, everything was better to better. But along the way, um, maybe influenced by movies and stuff like this, I thought, you know, I'm shy. And then I will be in court in front of all those people as a lawyer, as a prosecutor, a, a judge, I don't know. And I would have to uh, be social and, and be able to speak to the mass of people in the court. So I thought, how am I going to tackle this problem, this shyness problem, once and for all? And I came to this conclusion of acting classes. Uh, I knew it was 
quite uh, challenging. But I decided, you know, let me, let me do it. Let me see what happened. So I started as in a amateur course, just to feel the vibe and to have some fun and tackle my problem. Uh, it was brutal. It was quite brutal. The first improvisation I had was me and a friend, and she was really shy too. So we went in front of the people, and we had to improvise anything. And uh, she said, oh my God, what am I going to do? And I said, I don't know, do something. And then she faked it. She had died, and I had no one to interact. She was laying on the floor, and it was really lost. And then I faked, I died, she was... <laughs> It was terrible improvisation, but it was quite fun, quite challenging. Um, the more I did acting classes, the more I loved it. And uh, from doing acting classes, two things happened. One, I realized acting was my true passion, even though I loved law school, acting was way better for me. And the second thing is that uh, my shyness went away. It went away with a lot of uh, sweat, let's put it this way. Every presentation I would do, every play I would do, would be quite challenging. I remember once I was, uh, was my first play in this, in this group. And I was like a gangster. So my first scene I would enter really like a, sexy and, co and confident, I would get a lighter and would light the, the cigar of a lady. And I was feeling so calm, so tranquil. I thought, oh my God, that's it, I made it. A few seconds before I really entered into the scene, I start to shake so much. My legs start to vibrate in a really crazy way, I thought, oh my god, everyone can see this. <laughs> I entered into the stage, I got my lighter, and I was shaking so much, <laughs> and the girl, so it was like the, the cigar, and, and, I, and we were trying to light the, the goddamn cigar. Uh, it took a long time, because I was shaking, then she was trying to, to catch, the, catch the flame. It was quite something. But the more I did, the easier it became. The more I did, the easier it became. To the point I wasn't nervous anymore. And I wasn't shy anymore. Uh, a fun thing to, to mention. For a long time, I, I guess, I wasn't shy anymore. But I had this image that I was a shy person. So I would, like, have, have this idea of myself even though I wasn't anymore. Until one day I, I was talking to someone and I said, oh, because I'm shy and all that. And the person said, you're not shy. Come on, what are you talking about? And then I realized that it was gone. From my goodbye to my shyness, a really, I could say, precious thing happened. I discovered a strength and a I do believe it's one of the possible true strengths that someone can have. It's not a physical one. Oh, I can bench press three pound, 300 pounds. It's not like this kind of strength. But it's this strength that uh, I can go to a place that I don't know anyone, for example, and be okay. And, and don't care to what people think about me. It's not in a aggressive way I enter, like, I just enter and I, I don't care. Of course, I care about people that I like, that I like and that I love, uh, my friends and family. Their op opinion, I do care, but everyone else, I, I kind of don't care. It's really weird, uh, but I, it's hard to explain, but I do believe this is a, a strength, a, a magical thing so to speak, and you become kind of invulnerable to a lot of things and situations. Things like don't hit you at all. And for me, it's great. 
So if you have this this shyness problem and if it bothers you, because I know some people are shy and don't care. No, I'm, I'm this way, I'm fine. It's not because uh, society tells you you cannot be shy. Fuck society, right? Just be what you want to, to be. But if you don't like it, I would suggest you to make one step at a time. Start slowly. Remember me in the past, I couldn't enter into a restaurant and eat food alone. And now I am a professional actor. Start one step at a time. It might, it might seem small, but for you it's challenging, so take it. And be constant and go for it. Reading and, and researching can help, but I think to, to pull the trigger inside you, the only possible thing is practical. Practical. You in the front line fighting against your fears and your shyness. In a rational level, you know you, you don't need to, to care about other people, what they think about you. In a rational level, you know, but inside you, you don't know. And the more you do things, the more you will realize a simple truth that it doesn't matter. Even when people laugh at you, it doesn't matter. It's simple and it is just what it is, reality. So tackle it one step at a time. Let's say you have a problem you are shy to use the, the telephone to make a call. Try to once per day uh, call to a random place. Let's say uh, you call a supermarket and be really concise. You can call it, um, hello, do you, have a co do you have cookies to sell? How much? Okay, thank you, bye. Really short, really small, um, just to build in yourself this confidence and this realization that it doesn't matter. What people think about you doesn't matter. It's their problems, not yours, even if it's about you. So this is my suggestion. If you like this video and uh, if it was, I don't know, helpful to you somehow, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. It takes uh, quite a lot of work to do. I was doing my videos in a certain style and now I changed and it takes way more time to planning the, the episode and recording all of the things and editing. Audio editing is my terror, oh my. So if you liked this video and uh, if it was helpful, please subscribe, like and share if you so desire. Thank you and good luck. <laughs>